Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's the Aura Glow plug in uplighter. An RGB bulb. Now I've already bought one of these because they are very good value, about £15. Nice uplighter, it plugs into your socket rather than being on the floor. And um, I really like it. I'm going to put this one in the hallway and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in the hallway. I think this is a very good idea because some of the uplighters, even some of the quite small ones that just take a G10, are about £50 some of them. And I just don't understand why they're so much. Anyway, you get more plastic in this than you do in an uplighter. I suppose some of them are metal. But we'll have a quick look in here. And I'll show you their latest ball, which is different to the one I had last time. In the not very easy to open packaging. I've got to take that out for recycling, because they won't take it. Right, so it's um, just a straight plug-in light. No switches, because obviously it's next, well, I suppose not all sockets are switched, but uh, there's no switch on this actual unit itself, but you can move it through 360 degrees. Very good indeed. And it takes the G10. Now I think, I read somewhere, it's only about, I might sit on here, use LED G10 bulbs only, so it's only for LEDs, yeah maximum 10 watts, so don't go putting a halogen in here, because this will discolour, melt, possibly catch fire, who knows, I'd imagine it would just discolour. Now the last one I bought looked nothing like this, now they say this is a 6 watt one, um, and it's giving you 50 watts on white in brackets. I don't know about that. And it's got various different functions where it will stay on one function or fade in, in between different colours and what have you. I'm sure you know all about these sort of colour changing bulbs. So you get a little control. And you can actually turn that, you can turn the bulb on and off here. So if you don't have a, a switched socket and you, you want to be able to uh, have it always ready, then you can turn it off there. So, what do we have here? Nothing much really. There's not much more to say about this other than let's put the bulb in and see how it sticks out or not. See how high up it fits. There we go. Really nice accent lighting this. And I say it's probably better being off the floor really. Much neater package and no trailing wires and what have you, so uh, but quite nice by the bedside, I'd imagine. I think they they actually got pictures with it. Yeah, they got pictures of it by the bedside. Uh, I've only got one double, and I've got my radio and my light plugged in there, so no, that's not gonna be doing it for me. Right, let's go and um, plug it in and uh, see what it looks like. So here's where it's going in the hallway. It looks quite nice like that. Whoa, okay. First of all, usually these RGB lamps don't do a very good white. Usually it's all sorts of different colours you can trace in it. And that is quite a warm light that's quite strong. So I've also got I've got these up here as well, these and my whole light's coloured. But when they go off, because I've got them on a PIR, 
this leaves a nice accent light. Right, much better than I thought. Let's see, I've got an old controller here out of interest, which I use on the other ones. Let's see if it works with this one. No, quite often with these sort of things, the same controller can be used for all sorts of different ones, but no, it's not having it. So it's got to be the controller that it came with. So when you first turn it on, it actually goes quite quickly between the colors. Is the second effect, so it goes off in between. Here's the third one. And here's the fourth, which I've actually changed the speed on to slow it down. And it's remembered that speed setting separately. And that's quite interesting. So that means if I go back to this one, which is faster, Right, so that must be as fast as it can go. There we are, that's much slower now. So I prefer it when it's on all the time and it's gradually fading between each colour. So I'd say it's much brighter on its white setting than it is on anything else by the look of things. Yeah, that white is it's really quite bright, which makes me wonder if there's a separate LED inside for that. Maybe. Anyway, I want a bit of accent lighting behind a sofa or behind a telly or somewhere that there's a plug socket. I can fully recommend the Aura Glow at about £15 and the bulb was about £9, I think. It's quite an expensive one. So I say you get cheaper ones like the one I'm using in there for more sort of accent. They just hit the wall a little bit. So I wonder if you can see the comparison between that and that. Does it look really any brighter? Because the camera sort of compensates for brightnesses. You can see it getting up and then going down as it goes to that one so maybe yeah this one is a bit brighter so there we go that's the aura glow color changing rgb light g10 with a up lighter or a down lighter actually if you've got a high up socket you could uh, have it's a down lighter as well okay thanks for watching see you again next time <laughs> La. Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. Sorry again. Hello, welcome to Never Unboxing. This time, it's the Aurora Grow. <laughs>